Uh, and we're back. The last day of the summer holiday. Amane? Yeah, Aoi kun. That's my line. You weren't in the dormitory, so I thought you might be here. I woke up early, but I didn't see Amane anywhere. All her things in her room were carefully packed away. Today is the last day of the summer holiday. In other words, the day that Amane leaves the school. We still have one more day, though. Everyone was planning to get up before dawn again and go to the runway. We didn't think that a miraculous phenomenon would occur two days in a row, but even so, we wanted to. Oops, we wanted to believe there was a slight chance. However, I knew that we wouldn't be able to do it again so soon. At that time, we were caught in a downdraft and forcibly pulling up the aircraft meant to sustain huge G-forces, damaging part of the glider. Like I said, if you pull up too hard, you'll snap the wings off. It's possible to fix it, but at the very least, there was no hope that we'd be able to fly today. Now, his objective was to fly to the morning glory. Now that goal had been achieved, there was nothing left to do. You haven't seen any of the others, have you? Why not? Amani speaks with a really troubled look on her face and continued to pack all the things she had organized into a large travel bag. She's been living here a long time, so she has a lot of personal items. I'll help you carry it. Amane speaks while gazing at her desk, which is still cluttered. As she looks it over, her gaze stops at the photo frame. <clears throat> Are you leaving this behind too? She smiles as if to say, even if I took her with me, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Seeing her sad smile made all the feelings of regret that I'd bottled up come pouring out. Nah, I'm gonna continue it. I'll improve and I will definitely fly to the morning glory in the glider that you and the others have made. How many nods and after thinking a moment puts down her bag and stands in front of me. She takes my hand and holds it gently. In the garage, which doesn't have air conditioning, it's hot as a sauna. My hands are covered in sweat, but hers are as smooth and as soft as freshly washed sheets. Okay. Then Amine with eyes like a little kid's, but a little more grown up than yesterday, looks me in the eyes. As Amane speaks, she has a small yet fulfilled smile. How about Isuka's feelings? I want to ask her if she understood the reason why Isuka had become so obsessed with gliders. Amane shuts her eyes and hugs me gently. To tell the truth, I thought I was gonna cry. What about these designs? The designs have been left on the drawing board. Well, I mean, if you think it'll work better. I mean, I guess I have seen a plane with like that awfully designed V tail, but those are like UAVs. I couldn't do that. Amani puts her bag on her shoulder. She staggers slightly under the weight. I'll walk you to the bus stop. She gives a smile as crisp and sunny as the summer sky to the garage, then leaves it behind. The garage where she spent so many years shut away inside. A 
the next day, the first day of the new school term. What are we gonna do now? We don't have enough members. We can't ask Anchan to help every time we want to do a flight. So what will we do about transporting the glider? <sighs> what should I do about getting my pilot's license? I'm well, feeling downhearted and a sense of loss now that Amine had left. We discuss our plans for club on the way to school in the morning. When it comes to continuing the activities of the Soaring Club, Kotoya Gay and I are all of the same opinion. Next time we'll definitely fly there to the Passage of Clouds. A train that we were so close to, but had not yet achieved. However, it was there right at my fingertips. The sense of reality, the dream was no longer just a dream. Now we had a clear goal in mind, even though this happens only once every few decades. All three of all three of this had clearly envisioned this in our minds. Ugh. All three of us had clearly envisioned this in our minds. And that's why we don't have time to feel down. The thing that waited us was an unbelievable spectacle. Oh, awesome. No entry was written on the signboard, and on the other side, heavy machinery had made a hole in the wall of the garage and had smashed in the roof. <laughs> Kota and Agea are lost for words before this horrific spectacle. I stood there, stunned and desperately tried to think of what could have happened, but there was no way I could comprehend it. The place that would till just yesterday, where we would gather and spend time together every day, had suddenly been destroyed. <laughs> My knees were shaking, I felt like all the strength had left my body, and that intense rage burned inside me. What the hell is this all about? As I approach the person who seemed to be the foreman, he just looks back at me with a troubled look on his face. Of course, these people have been asked to do this, they're just here to do demolition work. I had no other outlet for my emotions. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Tobioka just glared at me like I was being unreasonable towards the workers. Mean, meaning if I have any complaints, then I should talk to him about it. Oh, I'll talk to him about it, alright. What is this all about? Oh man, this music is... This music is going in. What is this all about? Okay, so... Remember just like a little while ago how we were talking about how other clubs, like a, a few parts ago we were talking about how other clubs could like use the garage for drumming and stuff? Why would you take it down if other clubs could use it? たちには部活動をする自由が認められてるはずです。活動したければ勝手にやる。同好会としてな。ちょびやきゆさんの。かわいい。だ、ティンケオスボトゴナッツベルゲストミーラスモメント。かわいい。ダメだよ。なお、
I'm ahead and a bow of apology to the workers and step outside the no entry boards. Let's go. These are the designs that Amane drew. She said that she had completed them yesterday. And there was the photo frame from Amane's desk. Inside it was the photo that had stirred us all into action. It's not over yet. I smile at them with empty bravado. The smile as bright as the midsummer sun. I can't let it in like this. We will definitely fly in our glider. I don't know how, but we'll we'll do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Katria, looking like she was going to cry, smiled at me. And Yaya, who had a defeated expression on her face, smiled once again. Giant thunderhead was floating in the clear blue sky. A oh, what? They said that such clouds often go beyond the stratosphere. Oh, those massive clouds. Which means that the upward drafts go all the way up there. Our dream isn't over yet. It's the beginning. Not sure what you're gonna do, and especially with that kind of a design plane. I've only seen one kind of plane with that design, and it was it's a one model of a UMP. Not a UMP, a UAV. We're having another opening. Just the next chapter. Well, thanks for the nice slideshow. Oh, this looks fancy. やっぱりここだったわね。夜ちゃん。そろそろ帰らないと夕飯に遅れるわよ。うん。でも、もうちょっとだけ。待ってても無駄よ。もう現れないわ。
今日学校で聞いたんだけどうんあの人たちうちの学校のスワリング部だったんだって How old are these two? えあのグライダーで飛んでた人たちがそうようちの学校の部活動だったってわけ東大元暮らしとはこのことね<笑>ってことは私も頼めば入れてもらえるかもしれないんだ残念でしたんスワリング部はとっくに廃部になってたわ伝説の先輩とやらが引退してそのままねそうなんだ飛ばないのはそのせいよだからもうここで待ってても意味ないのさあ帰りましょう私お腹が空いちゃったそっかもう飛ばないんだ Sky so blue, it, al it almost hurts the eyes and a towering thunderhead. The cicadas are singing their hearts out, lush vegetation is growing, bathed in the sunlight. Summer has come again. It's so hot. Complain while hanging the sheets on the clothesline. This heat, they should be dry by lunchtime. Summer has come again. What? Has it been a year? As I speak, I gaze at the distant thunderhead. I said that thunderheads are giant. Come. Cumulonimbus clouds can extend upwards out of the stratosphere. The world record for highest flight in a glider also went beyond the stratosphere. It won't seem hard to believe at first. As I take the sheets out of the wash basket, I hear a voice from behind. It's a g a y I'll be with you in a moment. Can you wait outside? でもこれで高いアイスを溶かしてしまう痛ましい事故もなくなるのよこないだ小鳥ちゃんのハーゲンダッチ全滅しちゃったんだよねそれは悲劇ね The food won't be spoiled anymore and the electric bill will be cheaper Wait, what? Why would the electric bill be cheaper? You're gonna be using two fridges, aren't you? That won't be a problem for the owner either Finish hanging up the laundry and then while joining everyone, I explained. Yeah, well, I was going to approach the owner about it, but it wasn't exactly a smooth process to get to this point. The owner herself was okay with it, but her sons wanted to get rid of this place as soon as possible, and that's why they were against the idea of getting a new fridge. I persistently pursued the negotiations and finally went out. おばあちゃん言ってたよ葵くんはよくやってくれてるってそのおかげだと思うよ来た<笑><笑>今日の食事はどうだったのおばあちゃんおばあちゃんおばあん
Please install it over here, because you'll also take away the old one. Oh, okay. The new fridge will be installed in the dining hall, and the old one will be taken away for recycling. I signed the receipt, then I'll leave the rest to you. Are you? I'll let Kaneko take care of it, and then I left the dormitory. And, uh, is that a good idea? I, I guess so. Okay, sorry. It's been a year since the Soaring Club lost its status. No one has changed clothes since then, and then summer had come around again. Yep. The revival of the club's activities hadn't been accepted, so we still have the status of a society. Under the supervision of Tobioka, it had become effectively impossible to carry out our club activities in the school grounds. Just now, Kotori had patronizingly referenced to herself as club leader. She was a second in charge before, so naturally she inherited the title. Anyway, we've been demoted to the status of a society, so now she's just the leader. Looks like Kotori really has taken a liking to that title. It's weird, but doesn't lead her sound a lot more high and mighty than club leader. Beside the point, oh, we don't have a clubhouse or a glider, but there are things we can do. One of those things is working at a part-time job. Oh man, that sounds fun. Even after the owner got better, I carried on as the dorm, as as the the dorm mother. Okay. My mom pays f me for the work, and the money is used for my living expenses. Gehen and Kotori are working at Anchan's factory. They don't receive wages, but they get paid in glider materials. Factories can get those materials more cheaply, but and they uh, chose good quality materials, which is a big help. We have a plan coming up that requires the use of large amounts of FRP and so on. Gay and I are heading to the site of another of our activities now. It's at a runway two hours away by train. I go there often to attend the glider flight training. A few days ago, I finally managed to get the pilot's license that I'd wanted for so long. It was pretty hard work, but with this, I can fly a glider by myself. Gay has been coming with me when she has spare time to be in contact with the aircraft and help the maintenance. Kotori comes too, but she always just comes to watch. We could go for a flight with, with a local pilot, but he, she stubbornly refused. It's okay, I'll fly with Aoi, she said. It's still she... Yeah, still she... It seems she still remembers the promise I made to her before. Of course, I secretly still remember it too. We had a goal to complete an aircraft according to the designs that Amine had left behind. Then to fly that glider through the passage of clouds. ここのデータと照らし合わせてみたけど、今年の気象条件はモーニンググローリーの発生した年によく似てる。来るかもしれないのね。今年の夏に。可能性はあるってこと。もう but... That's why we need to make all the necessary preparations. I look up to see a sky so blue that it almost hurts to look at a thundering thunderhead. You've said this like ten times. The sky is so high that it looks like it goes on endlessly. Well, it kinda does. The real summer was beginning. Well, I guess I'm ending it here. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.